Welcome to part number two of Need for Speed Underground. This is the movie Chicane, and today we're going to begin the career mode. So it's our first time here at Olympic City. We have five different races for this part of the Let's Play, and let's start with the circuit. Jose's got your back. What's up, bro? I'm Jose. What's up, Jose? You told me I should keep an eye out for you. You said you plan on turning the streets upside down. Welcome to the streets, dog. Let's see if you can hang. Thanks, Esse. All right. So now it is time to begin our career, our official career mode with our lovely VW Golf. Mm, all the rice here. Oh man. <laughs> Dialogue in this game is good. Yep. <laughs> Very nostalgic. Well, I did put on a hard difficulty, so I do expect a bit of a challenge. Oh, 206, tap me, alright. I mean, it is street racing after all. <laughs> Jose's portrait looks like a mugshot. I know, he's been to the pin too many times, I see. But anyways, um, I did put on a hard difficulty, and it is street racing, so don't expect me to be super clean. It's like burnout, you know, just don't expect me to be the cleanest driver. This isn't a sim racing game. Some people like to take NFS a little bit too seriously when I'm just like, it's Need for Speed, it's supposed to be fun, first and foremost. But it's just two of us so far, two golfs. <laughs> the VW Golf Duo. Now, thumbnails are going to be really difficult for this game. I'm thinking about it right now. It's like, they don't have a replay feature. So I'm just going to have to grab, like, just stills from the actual game itself. Kind of like how Sky Hurricane does most of his thumbnails for his Let's Plays. Which should be interesting. Well, we're about to win this race. I mean, I did take out the other guys. Why are the graphics so good, so ahead of its time? Yeah, I mean, EA did, you know, this was when EA actually cared about games and their customers. Exactly. It's all about fun, first and foremost. Like, I did a casual NFS Underground 2 stream, like, a month ago, and this one dude was like, Hit the brakes! Like, why don't you use the brakes? Why don't you hit the apex? Like, in the Underground Racing League races, I'm like, First of all, dude, the rubber banding is ridiculous in the game. So even if you perfectly... I bought a picture of your car in Infinite Tunnel for every episode so that we can see the progression of the rice during the series. Hey, that's a good idea! That's a really good idea! Oh, that's a really good song. But anyways, yeah, this this dude was just like, Why don't you use the Apex? Just hit the Apex, bro. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, dude, the rubber banding is ridiculous. On top of that, it's Need for Speed, not Gran Turismo or iRacing. So the last one there is a rotten egg. The lowdown. Race through downtown core. First one past the airport construction zone takes home the bank. Well, here we are trying this race again because... Yeah, it's not a bad idea, Club King. It's not a bad idea. So I paused because I was reading his comment. But anyways, um, yeah, here's our second attempt at the race because that freaking Neon that's leading the race right now just rubber banded like crazy. Shot to the lead and I had no chance of getting him. Right when Rob Zombie's uh, Blacktop played, it sucked because we only heard that song for like five seconds. There, that takes care of him. But so far, so good. I think we're doing a little bit better than last time.
That is true, but the money though, dude. The money. Underground 2, I think it's worse. The rubber banding is ridiculous. Uh, yes sir. So, I'm doing... So basically, CK, what I'm doing is a marathon of NFS games. So, Underground, Underground 2, Most Wanted, and Carbon. Everything 100%. Yeah, exactly. The money is worth more, but in Underground 2, I'm going to play normal mode because of the rubber banding being so ridiculous. Where it's flat out, like, it's not unplayable, it's just really ridiculous. Whoa, kid, this is sick. Yet another convert to the drip scene. Well, let's see what kind of moves you got. They call me dirt, and I like to get sideways. Only in the SUV events? Okay, interesting. But anyways, that was... Dirt was his name? Oh boy, it's my favorite, drift mode. I suck at drifting, by the way. Oh, dude, I love Most Wanted. It's my favorite game in the whole series. I freaking love that game, dude. That's the one I'm looking forward to the most. Like, that's the most anticipated game on my channel for me personally. Yeah, and I have the Black Edition too, so I have the Black Edition challenge and then the Burger King challenge too. Hey Marvin, how's it going, dude? Boom. What do we unlock? Terra 1 level finals, okay. And we unlock a new drift track, cool. So in terms of mods, I won't really do modifications until after we finish the segment. Sup, dog? Name's Sup. Derek, but my buds call me Clutch. Sup, I think Clutch. I'll call you Tow Truck because that's what's going to be hauling that heap to the dump after this race. Oh, yeah, boy? Well, watch this. All right, so it looks like his trash talking really was true, but this time I get the upper advantage. Go for the block. I am playing a hard difficulty. I have to remember that. Those cars are probably modified. Wait, CK, that was... CK, was that your video on Drag Car TV? Please say yes. <laughs> Literally driving with the mirrors right now. The MX-5 is the only competitor. There we go. Ooh, we unlocked the 2003 Mitsubishi Lancer ES. All right. So we have one more race in this set of races, and it's a lap knockout. So last man standing wins, pretty much. Now this is another good song in the game. Wow, okay. Everyone's squeezing each other at the start. That's so... <laughs> that's so weird. That's so weird. I thought that was like a one-time glitch, dude. I've never seen anything like that before. And uh, Pleb King, that's pretty funny, dude. <laughs> <laughs> the crew chief. That's so funny, Plunking. Well, this isn't good. Well, it's three lap race. And these guys kind of screwed up this corner. That also happened to one of your cousins. Oh, jeez.
I think the guy who hosts Dragor TV is, um, I think he's on holiday right now, from what I remember reading. Like, he posted something on YouTube or Instagram or something like that. Can't remember. One of the platforms. But I did submit a video. It was from Midnight Club 1. <laughs> Eurobeat intensifies in GT Sport. That's awesome. For me, it was a fail where um, I was playing Midnight Club. It was part 17 of my Midnight Club LP against Kareem. And my card does a bunch of front flips. Arthur was there for it. Arthur was there. But for everybody else who didn't possibly watch the video or the live stream when it happened, the car flipped forwards a bunch of times. And I actually glitched through the map and I lost the race. I had to restart it. <laughs> yeah, you remember, huh? That was a funny ass moment. At that time, I was just like, dude, what was that? But then, like, looking back at it now, I was just cracking up. Oh, dude, that first, or oh, not first, the last uh, Phoenix car. Ugh, PTSD intensifies after just thinking about it, man. Oh, yes! I remember, Pleb King. <laughs> hey, Rishi. How's it going, man? I'm still a little bit salty on that fuel mishap at the end. But, hey, that was some fun racing earlier, man. Thanks for the invite to the league. But, yeah, that that Midnight Clip flip. I, I forgot about that. <laughs> um, oh, you're a tired boy? I am, too. But I want to play some new NFS. But anyways, um, yeah, I don't know if it's considered a fail. I think it's more considered a win, if anything. So I have to submit that as well. So two clean sectors in a row. Damn, six seconds ahead of second place. Just completely dominating this thing. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. There we go. Race over. We take home the victory. Cool. So, that's it for those set of races next time on need for speed underground we're gonna do the next set which i believe is a championship if i remember correctly so stay tuned for that